Okay. Okay. So are we all are we all set? So yeah, you we're all set. Okay. This is a uh, this is our uh, second broadcast. Second, on, yeah. Second broadcast on Periscope. Uh, you want to go and start with that song that you that you made up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there you go again with the music. We don't have any music. Well, you said go out with the intro. So, okay, so you went out with the intro, and uh, so so we got. I didn't get you the clap, but that's all right. Hello and welcome to Las Vegas Live with Vegas Vic and Ziggy. I'm Vegas Vic and that's Ziggy. Say hello, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. Yeah, there you go. See, every time that's funny. Okay, so we're broadcasting live from fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and we'll be broadcasting every Thursday, and so I hope you will join us. We don't know what time we'll be broadcasting because we're in Las Vegas, so we're in the casino all night long, and so we are, don't know when we're going to wake up. But today it's about 3, what is it, almost 4 o'clock. And uh, so we're also having this uh, copies of this broadcast on our YouTube YouTube channel, which is LasVegasLiveTV.com. And so uh, every week we're talking about different subjects from Las Vegas, and Las Vegas being the gambling center of the world, we usually talk about something about gambling. Mm -hmm. So when you had a question that you wanted to ask me something about roulette. Yes. Well, Vegas, Vic, you're, you've written many books on gambling. <laughs> yeah, 45. 45 books on gambling. <laughs> well, hang on. Let me qualify that. I wrote about three books of fiction, I think, so I had 42 books on gambling. But I want our audience to know that you're basically you're basically the expert, if you will, on gambling, well, or one you. of them. Well, anyway. yeah, some people call me that. Some people call me other things. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favorite games of chance to play right. is I like playing roulette. Yeah, yeah. All so right. right. Um, mostly because it pays 35 to 1 yeah, right. uh, on one of the numbers. Right. Okay. Um, Basically, and what I do, I'm going to tell you my little strategy. Um, uh, hold on, folks. This now, hold on. They're saying, no. Can't hear Vic. Can't, can't, hear, Vic. Vic. can't hear me? What's you wrong? You can't hear me? Um, Vic, say, uh, count to ten and make sure that everybody uh, can all hear All right, you. listen. I, I, I'm going to say uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you please put a post to let me know if you're actually hearing me or not? Yes. So just let us know uh, if you can hear Victor. Yes, I can hear him. No, I cannot. Yeah. Um, something like that. Obviously, you heard me because someone just said, well, yeah, I can't yeah, hear you're, Victor. you're louder than I, I am. I'm louder guess. than you are. Yeah, you have a deeper voice than I do. So. Softly. Yeah, okay. Okay, we can hear him. Okay, good. Thank you very All much right. for letting us know. So uh, we'll start over. And so you were something about the way you play. Is this a system for roulette for everybody? I don't want to call it a system. All right. Because when you, the moment you say system, people think, oh, it's. Um, don't let go any secrets. <laughs> no, it's not a system. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Tell me. I play five numbers. Yeah. Okay. Each spin, and always the last five numbers that came out on the wheel. Ah. Uh, okay. Now the reason I do that is because I notice that the wheel has a tendency to repeat numbers that it hit before. Oh. Uh, okay. So therefore, I've had pretty good luck. Playing the last five numbers, uh, okay. and here's the thing: I'll play twenty dollars, right? So that I only have to hit once, and I have made a fifteen dollar um, profit. Okay, so you play the last five numbers at a dollar at a time, so you have yes. a total of twenty dollars. I have a total of twenty dollars. I play five dollars at a time. So that's four spins, right? That's basically four spins okay. if I lose. Yes. Okay. So 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 you take uh, you take the last five numbers that you see that have come up mm -hmm. and have, most of the roulette wheels now in Las Vegas have these little posts that tells you which numbers have come out mm -hmm. whether it was black or red or or, uh, or the house number green and so in your case you look at the you look at the board and you say well the last five numbers were this and mm -hmm. then you're gonna play those five numbers again yep. for one dollar bet for four spins for a total of twenty dollars you're hit or miss correct okay and and you've had good luck because uh, all you have to do is hit one time and you cash out, you have a profit. Yes. So even if it's on the last bet, then you have the last five dollars, so you get thirty-five to one. Plus you lose the four dollars, but get one dollar back from that. So that's fifth. So that's thirty-five plus one. That's sixteen minus the fifteen that you that you got. Right. So you basically walk away with a twenty-five dollar profit. Is that right? That's kind of my strategy. Yes. Okay. So uh, first of all. Uh, as a way of uh, playing roulette uh, for fun, mm -hmm. it's absolutely uh, nothing wrong with that. Okay. However, it is not a method, and the fact that you are successful with it is simply a mathematical anomaly. Mm -hmm. Because every single event in roulette is an independent event. Unlike blackjack dealt from a shoe, where the cards that are yet to be dealt mm -hmm. are dependent on the cards that have already been dealt out. Correct. Namely, this is called a dependent game, 
in roulette, every time you spin the pill, uh, by the way, the little ball, it's mm. called a pill. It's called a pill? I thought it was called a ball. No, it's called a pill. And by the way, if you don't know this, many casinos have different size pills. Mm -hmm. So they can often switch the pill on you if they think that somebody is winning too much because it's not illegal to change the size of the pill in roulette. Interesting. And there are okay. only very minor differences in the sizes, you know, I mean they're... Like a micromillimeter? Yeah, 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 think, yeah. Uh, fractions. But there are different sizes of the pills and they simply bounce differently, more randomly and so forth. So, but that's beside the point of what you're talking about. So, so what happens is that every time the roulette is spun, it's an independent event. Everything that happens in that moment is its own universe. Mm -hmm. So it has absolutely no relationship whatsoever to what had transpired in the five events that you have seen. Correct. So uh, if it happens to fall on those numbers the way you have described it, mm -hmm. it's called luck. Yes. And, and as such, if that is the way that you enjoy playing roulette, mm -hmm. then that's perfectly okay. But don't expect to, uh, for this to be happening all the time because what you are seeing in the fact that uh, it works for you mm -hmm. is what's called uh, a psychological predisposition in the human brain to recognize patterns in things that don't have them. Yes, I agree. You know, because uh, we as humans want to organize our universe in what we call logical steps, namely, you know, if this, therefore that. Mm -hmm. And that's what's called uh, uh, mathematics and statistics and so forth. Mm -hmm. And it works perfectly well to organize the chaotic world in which we live. But if you are going to apply it to gambling and principles like that, you have to be aware of the fact that what you think are patterns in the universe, in fact, are nothing more than independent events that bear no relationship to each other. Now, does that mean that roulette can uh, not be beaten in some way? Well, yes, uh, you know, in a way, the, you have to realize that with most casino games, uh, there is a house edge, which is a mathematical edge for in roulette. It's an, an American roulette with two double with zero and double zero. Uh, the house edge is uh, five point three percent. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's five point two six, but we can round it up to five point three percent. So that means that on every event, uh, the house is going to win five point three percent of uh, everything that uh, that's put on the table. Mm -hmm. you know? So you know, if if you put up a hundred dollars, you're going to lose five dollars and thirty cents mm -hmm. over the average uh, uh, life cycle of uh, of the game. Uh, that, so the only way that uh, that to uh, play that uh, method mm -hmm. uh, is to rely on those statistical anomalies where certain events happen more often than they should. Eventually, Correct. it will all equate to the overall percentages, but that's uh, tens of millions of events. So if you find that this works for you, there's absolutely nothing wrong with enjoying the game for, from that perspective. That is how I play to enjoy the game, right. without betting a whole lot of money. Right. And I've had, I mean, I don't, I don't do this all the time, but it's my way of going, I'm going to put $20 down, win or lose, I'm walking away. Right. And in fact, once I've hit once, let's say I hit a number, right. I take that winnings and I put it aside. I don't gamble with that anymore. Right, right. I use that original $20 and bet the last five numbers again. Okay, you, sorry, go ahead. I'm saying that is how I played and then I walk away after losing the $20 yeah. or I walk away with ever winnings. Now sometimes I've hit twice. Yeah, I'm glad that you said that because what, uh, what uh, People ask me this a lot. They says, "Well, you know, if the house always is an edge, one of these games, whether it's roulette or slots, mm. uh, you know, how is it possible to win?" Well, there are two ways to win. One, uh, you can be very lucky and hit the jackpot, like the people that you know hit mega bucks, or people that will go to the roulette table uh, and and put down a hundred dollar chip and hit thirty five to one, which I've seen to happen. Right. You know, as a story from many years ago, I was at Caesar's Palace. It's now about almost uh, thirty years ago. And uh, a, uh, a young couple was celebrating because uh, the, the girl just turned 21. Mm -hmm. And so she and her boyfriend went over to the roulette table and he said, I'll tell you what, it's your birthday, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to play your birthday with a $100 chip. Right. And they hit that one event and got <laughs> $3,500. And, and they were just absolutely flabbergasted. Now, it happens like this. So that's one way to it. You know, to win, to win the lottery, win the jackpot, you know, win the mega bucks, that's mm -hmm. fine. But what you described is a much more workable way of winning. And that's called knowing when to quit and going home with the money. Yes. 
And that's a problem in Las Vegas because let's say, for example, that you take a hundred dollars and you put it into a slot machine. Well, we're talking about roulette. So well, let's yeah, let's go to slots because I want to talk about slots a little bit. Okay. Right? Do you want to start a new episode for slots or uh, finish uh, this on, on roulette? Uh, okay. Well, let's try. So, so uh, I tell you what, folks, we're going to finish this discussion on roulette uh, just now. I'm going to ask Ziggy one more question, then we're going to shut off. And then we're going to reboot about a minute later, and we're going to start talking about slots, okay? Beautiful. So, Ziggy, uh, before we go, uh, yeah. you have one more thing to do about roulette that you wanted to say? No, I just wanted to kind of get your feedback on it and say if, if was there anything else about roulette, because it's completely a game of chance, would there be any kind of system or strategy that would be beneficial? Not, nothing's perfect, of course. Right. Well, th there are many, many so-called systems that mm. people have been, uh, you know, selling for ever since Rudd was invented somewhere. And I, I think I have to date on. If you go to my Twitter account, which is edgamingauthor.com, and look through the history. Uh, and I have posted some history about roulette. I think it was invented in 1756, but don't hold me to that date because well, I can't remember. I'll tell you what, why don't you repost it on your Twitter line yeah, so okay. that anyone watching now can go back and look to see what you've done. Yeah, all right. Well, in the in the next uh, uh, 24 hours or so, I will repost the stuff about roulette on, uh, on my Twitter Perfect. Feed, yes, so that so. way people can kind of keep up. So anyway, to, to cut a long story short, there really is no system to beat roulette. The, the most uh, talked about is what's called the Martingale system. And basically, it means that you double your bet every time. Now, we were talking about that earlier. For example, if somebody basically puts their money on red and they lose, then they double that bet. They right. lose, they double that bet. Yeah. All right? Because eventually, the thought is that you would win because eventually red's going to come up. Absolutely. The two problems with that is, if I learned, and you correct me if I'm wrong, is one, all you're going to win is one dollar after all of that. The profit would only be one dollar. One unit, whatever that is. Correct. What one ship, correct. And the other thing is most tables have a limit. So that let's see, black keeps coming up over and over again. And like, well I want to double my bet. Well you've reached the table limit, sir. You can't bet that so that your that whole system is gone. Absolutely. You've just hit the nail right on the head. That's the fallacy of the Martingale system because at some point, uh, you're going to hit a statistical anomaly of so many events on the other side. Mm-hmm. So if you're betting red, all of a sudden you're going to run into events, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 events on just black. Mm. And if you're doubling on red, you're going to hit the table limit. Every every roulette table in the world, whether it's um, a, a live or mechanical or whatever kind of game, it has a house limit. And that's the reason why. Because mm -hmm. if it wasn't, there are people who are rich enough in this world to go and start, say, with $1,000. And right. they're perfectly willing to go and double the bet until they reach a billion dollars or more. Eventually, mm. they will win. Right. Because statistically, that will happen. Yes. And so, if that was the case, no casino could run roulette because they would always lose to people who would do that and who have that kind of capital. Right. And if that was available, I can guarantee you that the major investment houses on Wall Street would be all over this because that would be an easy way to make money. Mm hmm but that's not the way it works. Okay. So. All right, well, um, this is a good time to end. We've, uh, we have zero viewers, so yeah, let's, uh, okay. let's end this. Thank you for your tips on roulette. Uh, we'll be coming back in a few minutes and talk about slots. All right, so if you want more information, uh, log on to my website, morecasinodeals.com, and we'll be right back and talk about slots. Say goodbye, Ziggy. Goodbye, Ziggy. Vegas Fixing. So long.